weekend LeBron James, Paul George in Los Angeles Headline Story Lines to Watch Los Angeles, the glitz and glamour of the NBA's annual All-Star Weekend doesn't change much year to year. Pro Hoop's most prominent figures are always in attendance, and memorable moments, whether they be in the dunk contest, skills challenge or All-Star game itself, are always sure to come. It's the storylines, both on and off the court, that make each year's All-Star Weekend different from the last. Here are a few to keep an eye on during this year's festivities, which tip off Friday and conclude Sunday. James and George, both set to hit free agency in July, have ties to the Los Angeles area, with James recently buying a second home in Brentwood and George growing up in Palmdale. Cue the media's Los Angeles-related questions. George has repeatedly and openly discussed the possibility of one day heading home for Lakerland, though those talks have cooled as of late. I'm happy here, George said recently of Oklahoma City to USA Today Sports' Sam Amick. I'm happy with this group. At the end of the season, it's still on my decision on what I need to do for my family. That has nothing to do with my happiness here though. I've been really happy. It's a great organization to be a part of, but again, you know, I don't want people looking at this and, saying, like, hey, because he said it's his happiness at the end of the day, that I'm definitely re-signing. More All-Star Weekend James, on the other hand, has been much more reserved when it comes to his free agency desires. Anytime I'm able to be a free agent or my contract is ending, I'll approach that when the summer comes, James said before the start of the season. I don't ever cheat my teammates or cheat the fans or talk about free agency all year long because I'm not going to give energy to something I can handle in the summertime when I should be focused on what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis to help this franchise compete for a championship. This year's new format, two team captains, James and Stephen Curry, drafted their teammates regardless of conference affiliation was created primarily for the fans, as the competitiveness of last year's game reached an all-time low. The final score, West, 192, East, 182, was the highest in the game's 66-year history. The two teams combined to take 280 shots, making 162 of them. Every other possession ended with a wide-open dunk or three-pointer. James has backed the league's newest experiment and the need for change, saying, I'm going to take it upon myself and obviously the rest of the guys to go out there and play the game the right way and compete. Our fans deserve it. In addition to doubling the prize money, $100,000 for each player on the winning team, the NBA will also donate $350,000 to a charity selected by the captain of the squad that comes out on top. James and Kerry Irving Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant. The two most talked about pairs of teammates turned rivals will be teammates once more. Will James and Irving have a mending of the fences moment? Will Durant and Westbrook connect on an alley oop similar to last year's during the All Star game in New Orleans? What about first time All Star Victor Oladipo? Will he try and outshine Westbrook, his former Oklahoma City Thunder running mate? Or George? who he was traded to the Indiana Pacers for. James' roster is nothing if not drama-filled. Then come the current NBA teammates. Durant, also on Team James, has to compete against three of his fellow Golden State Warriors in Curry, Draymond Green and Clay Thompson, which, in and of itself, is sure to deliver in the must-see moments department. Follow USA Today Sports at New Harthkus on Twitter at TweetHank.